Right, so I'm on my last little bit. I know I haven't recorded much to this one, but um, like we've had such hot weather at work and everything else. So uh, I haven't recorded much on this because I've literally been like jumping in and out, doing bits and pieces on it and everything. So yeah, so I'm sorry I haven't recorded much on it, but I'll show you everything. I'll show you how it all came out and everything. So, um, so yeah, we had um, like the beginning of this week, Monday, Tuesday, we had really, really like record breaking temperatures here in the UK, and yeah, it was hot. And I know before some of you say, it gets hotter here, it gets hotter here. I know, but we don't have aircon for starters, most of us, here in the UK. We all just normally put up with the warm weather with, like, fans and all that. But, like, our humidity makes it feel so much worse. So, it just basically, like just sticks to you and you just feel all like sticky and icky and yeah it's not like pleasant i just realized that i'm pushing it right down the bottom there so yeah it's just that's why it just feels worse that's why i like, made the nudes and everything because like with the humidity and everything it's why it feels worse and i our houses ain't built for you know that type of heat where we obviously our houses are like all made of brick mainly so in the winter it helps keep our houses warm but obviously when it comes to the summer they don't let the heat out very well so we've all been trying to find ways and everything and to help with like the heat um one little trick i was doing was um i got my fan and i put uh i put hair ties through the back of it and attached ice poles to the back just to like draw some cold air through and it did help obviously the ice poles didn't stay frozen for very long about 10 minutes and i had to change them out for a new one but yeah so I was doing that. I do actually have an aircon unit. So I know some of you think about, hang on, you said you've got an aircon unit, but so why weren't you using it? Well, um, my where my husband works, their their aircon wasn't working, and it gets like, unbearably hot in their place as it is. So you can imagine, like on the hottest days like how hot it was going to be in there it was going to be awful for him and all the people he works with so what was it on sunday i was going to get the aircon unit out for me so i could sleep on monday during the day and i was like right okay i'm gonna be nice here so i said to him right do you want to take the aircon unit in with you to work then that way, yeah, it's not going to be like the biggest reliefs, but it will still help slightly with having absolutely zero aircon in there. So it will help. And it was like, oh, I'll check. And he checked. And they were like, oh, please, 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 please. So, yes, yeah, so I gave up our aircon unit so my husband could take it to work with him. So him and him and everyone could actually have like a little bit cooler where he works, because I have worked in places where there's, there's no aircon and it is I like, insufferable at times. It is awful. So I thought I'd be nice and so I said, right, take take it to work with you and we will. I'll, I'll come up with something else. So. But I have been, um, what do you call it, going to bed with a frozen hot water bottle. Um, I just, just, a bit, just a warning, uh, if you do that, do not use it again for hot water. Because the frozen, freezing it can make it brittle. 
So it's definitely not recommended like to use them again for things, but I have an old one. I have two long ones and uh, one of them, like the cover on it, it was all split and everything, so I wasn't using that one. So I put that one in the freezer and everything, because obviously, I, and then I know that's the one not to use anymore for a hot water bottle because i have other long ones and everything for the winter and if you think so um so yeah let me know down below in the old comments on how you cope with the hot weather in the uk because it had been hot we'd had loads of fires start everywhere some people's homes all burnt down which is awful um where i live where the army trains all set alight uh, and there was fire over there. Um, and you just feel, think about all the poor wildlife and everything that lives there. And but yeah, I it'd been hot. It'd been hot. And then on um, Tuesday, it's my first night off from my two nights off for work. I was so hot. I messaged my mum and I was like, Mum, has the boys, because obviously she has, like, my nephew's paddling pool there. And so I said to her, Mum, have you got the boy? is the boys' paddling pool um, filled with water? And she was like, yeah, it's a bit grubby because they'd been in it all day yesterday. And I was like, but she said it was fresh water in it yesterday. I was like, I don't care. I'm coming up. <laughs> So I quickly shoved on my swimmer's costume and then ran up there and just sat in the pool because it was so, so hot and it was such a nice relief. So I was like, yeah, I am going to sit up there. So I just slayed in the pool for about half an hour and it was heaven. What I'll do, I did uh, I had a little friend to come and join me. Um... There was a squirrel that was watching me. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought it was quite funny. Um, so I took a couple pictures of that. I'll post the photos. It was a squirrel. He was like, watching me to say, what are you doing in that water, you crazy woman? So um, I did find that quite funny. Um, it is still quite warm and sticky and everything, but not as bad as Monday and Tuesday. And then later on in the day, on Tuesday, I went um, back and dipped myself in the pool again. And then where it cooled down, Beast and Ruby, my mum and dad's dogs, came out and Beast got straight in the pool. And then he had a mad five minutes. And he went absolutely bonkers because obviously he cooled himself down. He must have felt amazing. So he was doing a mad dash push 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 around the garden he went absolutely bonkers because he felt he could tell he was happy so yeah that was so that was funny to see and then do we do's got in the pool as well but she's more of a lady so she just got in the pool stood there cooled down and got back out <laughs> but yeah so that is my that was that was quite funny actually you know with the dogs they are i do love them Right, so I shall show you how this has all come out. So my Diamond Art Club bath time is done. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it. I am so pleased with how it's come out. I just love the shininess and yeah, I do have to say Diamond Art Club's quality is fantastic. They really, really are. I, uh, I did say, I'm pretty sure I said where I got these from before. I got these, um, these, this one and another one was gifted to me from a friend, Graham. He liked it, and I think I've gone wrong there. For some reason, I have two yellow ones in the middle of the grey, so I'm going to check them. I think I, I think I did a boo-boo. I think I did a boo-boo, boo-boo, boo-boo. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to check that because it doesn't look right, that one. So, yeah, I'm going to check that one. Um, 
So yeah, I I do like their quality. And I got this one. This one and um, pounce was given gifted to me from my friend Graham. Uh, basically, what it is is he loved my um, hanging bead curtain, and um, the, you know the one that's made out of pink pens and everything else. And basically, he loved that so much. Um, so I said to him um, that he could have it, and he sent me to return because I was bidding on for these, and he was bidding on for them, and my friend Debbie as well was also bidding on. <laughs> so yeah, because um, they were like a really good deal. They're like, what was it like three pound odd for a number for this raffle? And you got two diamond paintings, two diamond art clubs, and it was just too good to not and to put a couple of down, numbers down for yourself. So yeah, but he won, and so when he got them, he sent them to me. And yeah, but he and he got my um, beaker and I made that I spent over a month doing. So yeah, so I thought it's quite a, like time wise, you know, I spent a lot of time on it. So yeah, he um, he he very kindly gave it gave, gave me this one and another one. So yeah, I absolutely love how this has come out. I really do, and I love like. The sparkles and you know you, you can see where the spark because like they picked out some of the grass which i'll show you in a second with the um a b some of the bubbles with some of the a b's and i like, bits and pieces you know but they do they do put a uh, thought into where they're putting their a b's they don't just go shove over there that'll do they actually do think where they're putting them so I absolutely do love how this has come out. Super shiny, super sparkly. The drills were all fantastic. I actually don't think I've really had hardly any junk drills. I don't know, it might be just me because I, um, I'm i not too fussy about junk drills. But nobody, but some people have really, really fussy red drills. I don't care if like there's a little hole in it or whatever. I'm not because who's going to see it when it's across the room nobody but yeah i do like i'm not too fussy it's only when there's like a big like blob on the edge so you can't line them up properly or you know you're missing half a drill or it's just a really naff drill i don't use them but yeah i'm just rambling on again i'm sorry so yeah um i'll change the angle and show you how it looks okay This is Bath Time by Gary Patterson. I keep trying to say Robert Patterson for some reason. I have no idea where I got that name from. So yeah, absolutely love how this has come out. So we have some ABs in the green. So one of the grasses, grass colours are ABs. Absolutely beautiful. And then we've got our bubbles, which has also got our ABs in it. As you can see, extra sparkly. Absolutely love it. And we've got like a little mole or a mouse coming out of the ground there. So this had 52 colours in it. And I have to say, I am so, so pleased with how it's come out. I absolutely love it. So, so clear. I did say I'm going to check to make sure that's right because I don't think it is for some reason. But yeah. Absolutely. This would be definitely my my older cat. I did have to um, give my younger cat a um, bath the other day because she had a seizure and she peed all over herself. So I thought, right, well, just quickly give her a little wash down on her, on her back end. But yeah, absolutely love how this has come out. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so pleased with it. So that's it for this week's video. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching. And I shall see you all next time. Bye bye everyone.